Hi, and welcome to the March 2021 energy update. And I think this one's going to be really quite a huge month um, with all of the shifting that's going on for this great awakening that we're experiencing. We had been building up to it over the last couple of years, especially the last year, really looking within, finding our truth, finding the truth of what's happening on a global scale, allowing for all these old programs, patterns, systems within us and within what we mirror, which is the world, the matrix of the world that we live in, <laughs> what it mirrors back and all of the, all of those lower frequency energies that are leaving the planet so that we move into this great awakening, into this fifth dimension, into a world full of peace, love, harmony, abundance, where there's no separation between people, no outside voices trying to program our minds as to what to think and how to act. It's all about returning back to your truth, the love that you are, the love that is connected to everybody else on this planet, to every animal, to everything that is alive in nature. Wow. It's pretty amazing. So let's see what let's see what the energy is. I'll, I'll pick a few cards and we'll just see what information wants to flow through. See you there. Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know about me, I'm a spiritual awakening coach and energy healer. And wow, there is a lot going on these days energetically. People are shifting so much and so fast that many of us don't even realize what's happening. So we'll talk about that. I'm going to pick a couple of cards. We'll see what wants to come up. Um, but if you wanted to find out more about me, you can always go to my website, lovemylife.coach. So I'm thinking rather than go off based on how I just introduced this video, I'm going to pick the first card. We'll pick an angel card, um, Kyle Gray, angel card. Okay. And, uh, see, see if it, see if it gives a direction as to where we're going to be going with this reading. Um, but it's all about the great awakening, right? So many people are awakening to What's been going on right under our noses? Okay, so maybe this video might get a little deep. I don't know. But it's like much of what some people might think is real isn't real. And much of what people might think is over is not over. Um, it's like it's really a time right now. of That's why you have to go within and feel what is true for you. You know, I haven't made any videos over the past couple of months because I've been going through some kind of a shift. I'm not exactly sure where it's headed, but I've been paying attention to it and really just kind of being with myself and just sorting my way through all these different changes that are going on. But I believe we are coming into a really good time. And uh, let's just see what this card says before we go into any specifics. Inner child healing. <laughs> Okay, let's get that light out of there. Inner child healing. All right, so I'm gonna read this card. This deck is new to me, Kyle Gray. And uh, let's just see what it says. Okay, so I'll read right from the book here for you. The inner child is the part of our psyche that represents our childhood. Everyone, no matter who they are, had a traumatic childhood experience that may be impacting their life today. Wow, this is actually already hitting something within my heart that um, to do with all of the child trafficking that's being exposed right now. And some people have no clue because the mainstream media will not tell you about it. But there has been a lot going on, especially during the whole Trump administration, of taking down these evil, evil people who are trafficking children. Um, there's a great movie going to be coming out soon. Um, I forget the name of it. It'll come to me as we get through. But anyway, it says, um, 
Everyone, no matter who you are, had traumatic childhood experiences that may be impacting their life today. And you have endured so much in your life. You are a real survivor. Drawing this card indicates that no matter what has happened, you found a way forward. You may feel that you have had to grow up quickly and abandon your innocence in order to survive. But know that when you reflect, review, and release anything from your childhood that could be holding you back, the next phase of your life will be supported. This isn't about forgetting, but about taking the time to send loving energy to your inner child and to assure them that they do make it through and become the incredible person that you are today, right? Your inner child has made it through all of that. And the thing with energy healing is great because you don't have to keep holding on to that. We can release those energies and move forward. And the hard part is to try and figure out how, how it possibly served you but it always does and with the evil that's going on in the world today you wonder how does that serve us because there's so much of it and we're going to be discovering you know if you're doing any research on your own through an alternate media um, you'll find that there's major major deception that's been going on um, and when people wake up to this they're going to feel like shattered um, it's going to be hard to sleep. Like I've gone through a lot of that as I've been understanding what's been going on with the child trafficking and seeing photographs of these children and what they've been through. Um, I, I'm telling you, it was hard to sleep. I, I'm finally, finally able, and I'm doing, clearing this all the time and I'm sending love constantly to these people, not just, not just children. It's, you know, women as well, just being tra trafficked for so many, besides just, sex there's they're trafficking for all sorts of evil things so what i do is i just keep connecting to the light so if you've been learning about this and you you're really having a hard time processing it because it's so horrific you just have to keep pulling in light pulling in that love that god force energy that universal creator energy keep pulling it in filling yourself up with it so where you can start to feel yourself expand into the energy where you're no longer Feel, feeling or so aware of just the physical part of you, but you expand into the energetic part of you that is connected to everything. And when you get into those spaces and you bring that love in, then you just send it out. It goes out. I mean, that's all we can do, right? For those of us who are not part of the forces that are taking down the evil, we can just assist those that are doing that by sending this love and this healing to everyone involved especially to the victims yeah so i mean right off the bat that's what this card is bringing up for me but at the same time um even if it's something that wasn't so, so big like what we're talking what i'm talking about right now but just things you've been through in your own life um you can just keep calling in healing for yourself. Just keep asking for healing to come in for those aspects that are, that are pulling you back, that are making you feeling less than who you are. And that's why I say connect to that light because when you expand into that energy, you feel that peace that comes in. And as you're vibrating to that energy and intending to send that energy out to the world, it makes a difference for you, especially. You'll feel the difference right away. And it makes a difference for the entire planet. Um, so anyway, let's read the extended message for this card. So it says this card brings radical healing, understanding, and love to your inner child. It shows that your guardian angel is wrapping their loving arms around you right now, nurturing your inner child and encouraging you to unleash your childlike senses. See the world through the eyes of the child. There's so much wonder and opportunity out there and it's time for some fun. What can you do to feel light? What can you do to express yourself? Have you stopped yourself from doing something because you're feeling you're too old? But you're too old for it now. It's time to reclaim your innocence and express yourself in a way that is filled with excitement, wonder, and adventure. It's time for your inner child to be healed. So yeah, so, so even getting back to that whole thing with the child trafficking, we feel that like everyone, no matter what your political beliefs are, what your religious beliefs are, everybody can feel the pain of what that must be like for these people going through this. And so, because everything's a mirror, so it's almost like 
no matter what your own personal experience that you can remember in this lifetime anyway might have been that you want to send healing to your inner child for as you're doing that clearing for yourself it is clearing for everyone as each of us clear out lower energies for ourselves from our own personal experience it helps the whole entire planet so i think that's the main message i want to get across about this thing with pulling in light you know and and you know, you don't just even think of it as a meditation. Just, you can sit for a few minutes. I like to do it in the shower and just let my, and the more you do it, the easier it is to feel and sense your own energy. Maybe somebody's new to it. They're like, I don't, I don't feel it. I don't understand it. I've met so many people like that, that think they can't feel the energy. But then when I start working with them, they start feeling it. And then once you know a little bit of what that feeling is and you keep feeding light to it, it grows and grows and grows and grows. So you can heal yourself just by pulling in this light. So what I like to do is I just ask for this love and this light to come to me to heal not only myself, but for me to be this open channel that can send that healing out to the world. And the thing is, God knows what's needed. So you just have to be the beacon of light. You just have to open to receive it and to send it. You don't have to know the details of who it goes to, what's happening when it goes through. You know, so like if I'm giving a healing session, there might be things we're working on, but as the energy is flowing, I know that there's so much more that's coming through that is for whatever is for the highest good of the person that I'm working with. I trust that because I know that God knows what that is, right? So when you intend to just send the healing out to the world, we don't have to know specifics of what that is actually doing. See, that's the thing. A lot of people get caught in their mind too much and try to figure things out. It's like, let's move past that and just be in the space of wanting to be the love, shine that love and send it out. Yeah. I feel like I don't even need it. I shouldn't even pick another card that maybe that would be, um, oh, let's pick another card. Okay. Let's do the enchanted map. So what is it? The Underground Railroad? I'm trying to remember. There's a website where, let me see if I find it because I happen to have Underground Railroad. Oh, but I want the website. Uh, yeah, it's called Our, it's OurRescue.org. Yeah. Ourrescue.org, and there, I've seen documentaries already, and they made this new movie that's going to be coming out that you know explains the whole thing and what's been going on for all these years. But there's this group of people. I mean, they just go into all these different countries undercover on sting operations as if they want to buy these children, and then they take them down and they they rescue children and they put the perpetrators, people who are trafficking these kids, in jail. And you can contribute to that. You know, to help their to help them to keep ourrescue.org. Yeah, so that's all I'm going to say on that. You can find out lots of information. If you haven't, if you're not aware of this, you're going to be aware of it real soon because this stuff's going to start coming out for the public to know what really truly has been going on. And you'll be surprised how so many people who you thought you loved, <laughs> um admired are actually a part of it and that's really disturbing really disturbing i'm talking about in the government in hollywood it's crazy all right so let's pick a card here let's see what the <laughs> see what this one says so i'm doing the enchanted map all right let's pick a card but the thing is, I mean, I'm bringing up a heavy subject and there's quite a few of them out there right now <laughs> because these lower energies need to be, it's been holding the planet back from having this great awakening, from moving into this next, um, next part of our journey and, oh, spirit of place. Okay. We'll have to read what that is. Number four. So this has to happen. It feels horrible, but it's really good. Oh, and what I wanted to say is, because I've been trying to wrap my mind around this. I'm like, oh, how could this exist? Like, what is this doing? Why would 
God allow this to be for, all, this is going on, we're talking centuries, okay? It's been going on a long, 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 long time. And it's been holding us back from making this leap. But I, I feel like if there's a purpose for this, the purpose is so that we once and for all bring it all to a head, expose it. Because once you shine the light on, on the evil, it can't exist anymore because it lurks in the darkness, right? But when everybody has their awareness is on it, you can't be fooled anymore. You can't be drawn in and you can't be programmed by the information they want to give to you because you know better. And so always you want to feel it with your heart. How does it, is this really happening? When you start to see that it really is. So what, you know, how is this good for the planet? Well, maybe it's just what we need to make that quantum leap to have this big exposure of just eradicating this and then whew, we move into a beautiful place yeah because there's um if you don't know about nisara jasara so nisara stands for i have to read because i always forget the national economic security and Re and reformation act okay this is going to be coming into play and this is where There'll be abundance for everyone. So you can go and find out about that. There are a lot of people who talk about it, explain it all. That's not really my thing to do. Um, but but it will really help you to connect to the higher frequencies of what this world will be like once we get through this hard part. Um, and Sarah, I mean, it's talking about having like debts just erased because that's been perpetrated against us, against the Constitution, actually. You know, taxing us on our labor. You can find out about that on your own. Okay, so let's see. Spirit of place. All right, and that was in the upright position. So it says, authenticity is the essence of power. Our ancient ancestors believe that every place has a spirit looking after or embodying it. Just as we have a soul, the plants, trees, birds, mountains, and rivers have their own essences. When the spirit of place arrives in your reading, it says that the answer to your query is in the overarching theme of your circumstances. Is there a question about struggle? The answer is to relax and let go of your need to struggle um, and to control the situation. If your inquiry relates to finding love, then embody love rather than longing for it. Once you find the essential truth that underlies your question and then name it, you'll discover the answers you've been seeking. Your greatest power is in your authenticity. So uh, for me, and especially with the things I've been talking about today, yeah, I just find that energy of this, this energy, this love, this where you feel your connection to everything, where you feel that peace. See, I feel the energy right now building, where you can allow for abundance to come into your life because you're being in that peace. So when you're in that peace, you're in a higher frequency, a higher vibration. What pulls us out of our peace is when we try to get into our mind to figure out how to control and change circumstances which if you think about it, you've been probably trying to control and change it for a long time. And it's either going nowhere or getting worse because you're just holding that frequency of the struggle, right? So that's why for me, the easiest way is just calling in this light, just imagining it. You know, you can, you can do it in the shower, feeling the water coming over you as if it's light pouring on you, right? Find ways in your own imagination to feel and connect to this light. Picture yourself on the beach and so much sunlight coming over you and feeling the heat on your skin and really letting your energy expand into that. I mean, there's very many ways. There's no right, put it this way. My guides always tell me, and you guys hear me say this all the time. There's no right way. Find your own way. Keep it simple. So with all the healing modalities I've ever done, I mean, I, I pretty much just get down to basics right now. I'm channeling the healing that wants to come through. I'm connecting to that light, being that open channel, and letting it come through. And anybody can do it. You can do it for your family, your animals, your home, your the, the, 
nature all around you. There's no limits to love, right? You just have to connect to it. It's there. It's always there for you. So, <laughs> so what does this have to do with the March? Okay, so the March energy reading. So what, so, okay, huge changes are coming. This is the Great Awakening. It's been for a long time, but it's coming to um, a point where, where we're just going to bust through. And you're going to see so many changes take place. This year, your mind's going to be blown in March. Okay, There's going to be a lot of stuff coming to the surface. A lot of things you either knew about and are like, wow, finally it's coming out. Or that you've never heard about because you just were, for some reason, not letting yourself see what truth was out there. Um, and then you're going to probably feel devastated. So you want to always, no matter which way you're looking at it, connect to the light because the light will always heal. The light will always bring you through whatever you want to call the light there. You just have to feel it. Just be in that peaceful place. Maybe find um, even on YouTube, right? And there's millions of meditations out there. Trust yourself to find the one that's right for you. You know, search a couple of words, what you're looking for to find within this meditation put the word meditation after those words, you will find a ton of them. And just listen. Listen and allow yourself to expand into the words and the energy of whatever the person's bringing through in that meditation, and you'll start to feel it. So those of you who know how to feel energy, who this is nothing new what I'm telling you about connecting to the light, do it. Do it often. I do it many... In fact, these days I'll wake up a lot of times during the night and I think it's for that purpose because what I'll always do then is I'll just connect to the light and start sending it out and then that puts me back to sleep and then I'll wake up again. Like, why am I waking up again? Okay, and then I'll just do it. So I feel like it's kind of like a time when I'm doing that work for, for the world, for these kids. That's really on the back of my mind. You know, I can't take it when I see animals or anybody being having their free will taken away and just being, um, you know, mistreated, abused. So what can I do? I can send light. That's all I can do. I can, I can support these organizations that are going in and, um, you know, taking care of these people. So that's all I'll say for today. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, but just know that it's going to get crazy and then it's going to get crazy good. And during the hard parts, if we just keep connecting to the light and you start really sensing and feeling and knowing light, then when we break through, wow, so much is going to open up for you because you're already switched on to the energy, to the light. You'll find um, things about yourself you never knew, abilities that you have that you never knew. And that's going to be pretty awesome. So that's all. I'll leave you with that for today. And um, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Bye.